Should we go get in the car? Mm -hmm. Yeah, should we go to the next one? for going back to school schools are going back as it stands i'm sure things could change i don't think this is going to change to be honest i think that everyone realizes that getting our kids back in school is very important and what's it been like the 20 20th of march no it was earlier than that maybe the 17th of march or something since they've been in school since normal life where we remember those days where we took our kids to school every day and picked them like oh can't even remember those times but yeah, I think that it, we will be going back to school. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. I think it's a good thing. I think schools are obviously putting in, putting lots of things in place to make schools a safer place. Um, it is what it is, is, you know, that's, if schools are open, as far as I'm concerned, for me and my family, I think that it is going to be like it's you have to send your kids i'm not sure whether how they're doing it for fines or whatever at least like in the uk i don't know about anywhere else in the world but i don't i do think that if you don't send your kid potentially you'll be fined i don't know if anyone has any information let me know in the comments but from for me my family Stephen will be going back to school he needs it he's going into year 11 this year and he just needs to get back into it he's not he's not that he's bored at home but he just needs a bit more of that structure that he gets from school. Whether he'll have to go back wearing a mask or not is another thing. That's something that's in the news at the moment about whether secondary school pupils will be needing to wear masks. Again, if that's the requirement, I, I, to be honest, I think that they probably should be wearing masks in the, like, in the hallways and things, not in their classrooms. I think that's a bit of a joke to be doing it in their classrooms. But yeah, I do think in hallways and stuff, they probably should be wearing masks. That's my opinion. You know, you can think different than that. That's fine. But for Stephen's school, they were, we've received a letter last week actually, uh, day, actually, or was it this week? Beginning of this week, we, uh, 24th of August, it was dated, talking about how they're going back to school. So at the end of last year, I'm assuming that all schools are doing this differently, dependent upon, or, or slightly differently, dependent upon, you know, the size of the school, how many pupils, there's so many different ways of doing things, I guess. Um, but for Stephen's school, what the plan was at the end of last term, we received a letter to say that how they were thinking of doing it was so it would be staggered, staggered times of entrance to school, like for the year. So Stephen's year 11 would go like at 8.45, um, year 10 would maybe go at 8.35 or something like that. And then they were going to do, which <sighs> sounded crazy to me that they were going to do a whole year, a whole day, sorry, with a lesson. Does that make sense? So like, so you go in on Monday and that's like your PE day and you do PE that whole day, you go in and your PE kit and you just do PE the whole day. Maybe Tuesday you go in and you have a maths day and then Wednesday you have an English day, Thursday you have like a computer science day and you just do a subject a day, which sound it, it when it was suggested we were talking about it, it was like it just sounded i couldn't concentrate on like english for a whole day i know i couldn't and i understand the thought process you know obviously you have different teachers for different subjects in in secondary school and so the m moving around and the mixing if you're doing like your, your normal stephen school has five lessons a day if you do your normal five lessons a day you're obviously mixing around more so that was the plan, that that was what was going to happen until this letter that we received on the 24th of August that 
it's quite lengthy to be honest but it generally it's just talking about everything that they've put into place they were due to go back on the wednesday so monday is bank holiday then tuesday is um would be an inset day where teachers would go in and then the, the pupils would attend back on the wednesday but they've decided that for whatever reasons that they're going to have two inset days on tuesday and wednesday and then they're going to start for a phased return on the thursday and the friday so different years so i've got it up now so it's like year seven we'll go in year seven's always at this school anyway i don't know in different schools but in this school they always have like the morning by themselves just because it's a big change isn't it going from primary into secondary and so they have like the morning there by themselves before other people start coming in it's like year seven are going in first thing on thursday and year 10s and 12s are going in on thursday afternoon stephen's year year 11 are going back in fact all the other years then are going back at 8 40 on friday the 4th so they've got two extra days off and you know they're starting at a different tower i think he was due to start like on wednesday at lunchtime i think was the the before time but they're starting later so they i'm assuming so the teachers can get things a bit organized and get their head around how the hell everything's gonna work i wouldn't like to be a teacher to be honest then they've completely kind of rearranged their school day they've scrapped the idea of doing one subject which i'm so glad for Stephen just was not looking forward to that at all to be honest, even as a, as a teacher how do you keep children's interest or young adults interest in a subject for the whole day it's like it's a lot isn't it you're like as an adult you know you sound like if you go on a course or something by like you know you start to lag don't you but yeah they've changed it to have three lessons throughout the day uh, obviously the lessons will be slightly longer to minimize the movement around and you know mixing of people they are going to be supervised at all times so they'll have like their lunch bringing a lunch like from home is encouraged but there is going to be facilities to buy lunch but you have to like book that in you can't just choose to do that on the day um so yeah lunch will be eaten inside your classroom and then you'll get like supervised outdoor time it's like being in prison isn't it you're like supervised outdoor time it all sounds good i'm sure it'll take a lot to get used to um there is also like dismissal times as well there's a difference of so like 45 no no not 45 minutes 20 minutes between the, the different year groups dispersing so yeah that's how they're gonna this intro is what this is like the whole video i'm chatting about how school is gonna work but yeah today <laughs> um i want to get organized with school and what is needed i'm a bit like last minute doing this but i'm always last minute doing this last year was so different i was thinking about this that last year's back to school i had someone a foster child who was starting school in reception i had a child that was going up into year one oh that's it and then i had stephen going into year 10. this year all i have in terms of going back to school is stephen going into year 11. there is a little thing on the email to say um to come to school fully equipped to so we can like so children don't have to share like unnecessary sharing of equipment in classrooms there's like a little list of like black pen green ha green pen highlighter pencil rubber roller your standards calculator glue stick so the plan for the day is to see what he has of that stuff and what he hasn't got order online and to see what his uniform is like i am not someone who goes out and buys new shirts and pants and peak and everything like in, in september if he doesn't need it and his stuff still fits him from <laughs> last time he's wearing them but i'm not i'm not gonna buy new stuff uh, so he needs to try on his stuff and see what fits what doesn't fit school shoes who hates buying school shoes they're just so expensive Stephen's school shoes are, are like i feel like they were like 60 quid last time i bought school shoes so yeah that's the plan for the day i'm by myself in the car this is like the first time this has happened since lockdown since march that i've not got a child with me they're both at varying different places and i don't have to be there to supervise in any way or anything it's fantastic and i've spent my time i've not got long in fact my time's nearly up the whole time that i've been chatting to you with this like that's not long <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna go for a quick walk and then we'll get back home and start the sorting out for school school uniform yeah. what's the decision that everything fits no you try your pants on 
Uh, they were a little bit short, right? Did, I, did we think they were a little bit short? And shoes are no problem. Shoes are fine. Christmas. Definitely till Christmas. Definitely. Um, I don't know these socks. Oh, did you? <laughs> Those thick socks. Um, what about school? Uh, not school uniform. Um, what's it called? Blazer. Blazer's fine. Yeah, blazer's fine. Definitely. Peek it. You got any idea where it is? It's not can't be in school, sure. It's a folder that when you went in for those days at the end of the year, yeah. you got it there. Oh, so they provided you with all that stuff, did they? Yeah. All the rubber. Oh, so you've got it all. Oh, look at that. He's got it all. They gave it him when they went into school at the end of last year for like a year, not a year, for yeah. um, a couple of days. Okay, we've been on a hunt and we've gathered up uniform, shorts. Yeah. They'll be alright, won't they? No problem, these shorts are fine. This is going to be a, um, a cheap going back to school here, I think. It's not going to cost me anything. I don't think I'm going to be paid. Stand up. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, trainers like for what do you wear on your feet here? There's black ones. <laughs> you don't know no. where they are? No. So I, I think pants are too. Or if they're not too short now, they'll be too short yeah. soon. We've had another letter from school today. Loads of information. Look, pages and pages and no. pages and pages and bit of like how they're doing things and stuff. I'll forward it to you. So, so far, this is going pretty well. All I'm needing to get at the moment, I think I'm going to get pants and shirt. Just, I'll try and get the shirts a bit more white, but they're, they're a bit manky and a bit not very white. So, see what I can do. But then, yes, pants they are a little bit short. If they're not quite short enough now, they'll be short soon. So, I'll just get the next size up, like age 15 to 16. Because he's going to be 16 soon. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. How do you feel about being 16 soon, Stephen? Um, no different than I did last year. <laughs> no different. No different any year. How do you think you'll feel about being 18? Do you think you'll feel different then? Probably. I think do a lot more. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Vote. I just can do. Vote. You just can do. You're right, you can. Have you found your shoes? No, not there. Oh. Are you in problema? Maybe some black trainers for PE. If you can't find them. It is. I feel like it's quite new. It's like the last till the end of the year 11. Don't grow your arms any longer because I don't want to have to buy you a new one. <laughs> How many people have like left their trainers or whatever in the lockers? Yeah. Like, you know, Stick. You could ask if you're allowed and see. We've had a bit, we've got, we think, um, PE trainers potentially in his locker and have been in his locker, I think, since the start of lockdown, like since March. Because obviously, like, he would always just leave his trainers well, in his locker. Since he bought them, really. Since he bought, yes, <laughs> since you bought them. Your locker must absolutely stink. Um, yeah, because obviously they've just, he stores his trainers in his locker and then one day they just didn't go back to school. So he didn't bring them home. But PE won't happen on the first day. You can maybe just ask about if we can see what's in your locker. Yeah. And then we'll we'll see if we need to buy trainers in a few weeks' time or whenever or last year of school. I guess you like you don't really know until you've got to classes, like how many in a class? Thirty. So normal classes? Yeah. Just you, should have, you should have to wear masks in class. Do you think, see, because I don't think you should. It says that teachers are going to wear them in classes. What's and, like, you can't do things like, um, like, the teachers aren't going to touch your exercise books yeah. or things. And It's the next morning. Yesterday just kind of got away with me, to be quite honest. But after having those conversations with Stephen, I'm very tired this morning. I don't know if you can tell. Very tired. But, yeah, after having those conversations with Stephen, we worked out that pants and shirts potentially are the only things I those shirts I mean 
whilst I probably could get them whiter, they are just getting that little bit tight round them or whatever. So we did nip out and go shopping. I had to go and collect one of the little kids. And so when I went to collect them, or just before I went to collect them, I nipped and got um, a pack of shirts for six pound from George. A two pack of short sleeves. Stephen likes the short sleeve, like even in the um, winter, he likes to wear short sleeved shirts for school. Oh, I've just thought, where the heck is his tie? It's probably in his blazer pocket. That's where he normally keeps it, but I'll have to remind him today to have a look for that. And then I got a two pack of um, adjustable waist stretch skinny leg pants. I don't know whether this sort of style will be okay, but he kind of has got just long skinny legs. So I just got these, so I'll get him to try these on today to make sure that they're okay. They were 16 pounds. So, what did I send? 16, what was that? 16 and six, 22 pounds is all I'm needing to spend this year on back to school stuff. I don't think I can really complain about that at all. Let me know how you are getting on. Are you all prepped and raring to go ready for back to school? We did get an email yesterday. Very extensive email. Uh, it's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages long on the return to school guidance document that's got a lot of information about how the school's gonna be organized, uh, school uniforms, social distancing, hand washing, um, COVID-19 control outbreak plan. So if someone um, has symptoms or tests positive, how they're gonna um, respond. Thank you. I've just been handed a Tupperware. <laughs> Thank you. Should we put the lid on? Click, 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 click. Yeah. Can you take it off? Yeah. See if you can unclick it. Yeah, so how they'll respond to um, an outbreak or symptoms or whatever. Um, and just general guidance about everything like moving around school. And I'm sure, all, or one would hope, all schools. Lots of thought process <laughs> gone into this. And yeah, I mean... There's a lot, there's a lot going on in there, talking about behaviour and pastoral support. I will very much miss having him around, despite the fact that like he doesn't maybe get up to like 11 or during the school holidays he hasn't been up, getting up to 11, but I'll miss having him around. He's like, yes, yeah, like, he's been here since March, like doing his schoolwork and we've been spent afternoons together and we've gone on walks and we've been doing like dumpy with Joe and just... Yeah, I'll definitely miss him not being here for the chunk, me, like the majority of the day. I did order another mask for him. That's, I think, part of a secondary school um, student's uniform. But yeah, all ready for school. Let me know, are you ready for kids to go back to school? It's a strange, it's a strange year, isn't it? It's a strange start to the school year for for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna vlog back to school day. I will link that down below in the description. When it is out, obviously that'll be a week. Well, it'll be more than a week from now because he doesn't go back until a week for now. So it'll probably be the following Monday when that comes out. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.